Okay, let's take a look at these rocker arm assemblies here. The lower one is a stock application, which is a 1.1 to 1 ratio rocker. The upper ones are a 1.25 to 1 ratio rocker, which means that we're going to get a higher lift when the camshaft actuates through the highest lift point uh, during operation. The lower set here have clips that retain the rocker arms in place and they also have a spring washer or a Belleville spring and you can see when I squeeze them that allows them to move back and forth to maintain a constant contact during RPM fluctuation and any uh, dynamic flutter that happens during the actuation of the rocker arm uh, following the profile of the camshaft that's pushed through the uh, lifter and the push rod and then against the tip of the valve stem itself. Both are using friction contact pads, the OEM ones, and they're very similar to the ones that are in here, and I'll show you them in just a moment. But the, the ones I'm using are using a uh, lash cap that goes right on top of the valve. That lash cap rotates on top of the valve and it allows a more, uh, pardon me, less friction contact area because it's rotating, which causes less wear on the tip of the valve and less wear on the lash pad contact that's on the adjuster screw. So these ones here, this is a solid shaft, so same as this one. This shaft here is threaded on the end, this shaft is not. Uh, this allows us to put a cap on the end and then put shims in here to make it a solid shaft assembly. And then we put shims in different areas to get the geometry correct so we want to stagger the rocker arm assembly over the tip of the valve stem or over top of the lash cap itself to prevent uh, it from rubbing in the wrong spot or riding off. Now the idea with setting geometry on them also is to make sure that and part of the geometry set is make sure that they're in the position this way correctly over the valve stem and to make sure that at max lift that we don't go any further than parallel or 90 degrees to the head which allows uh, a minimum amount of pressure on the rocker arm assembly and reduces the amount of wear and reduces the amount of uh, vibration that happens as the valve spring is pushing and maintaining constant contact between the push rod, the rocker arm and the lifter itself and against the face of the camshaft. So we'll just move these ones out of the way for the moment <clears throat> and we'll take a look at these ones. And I've already gone ahead and shimmed these according to where the geometry needs to be set on the engine that I've just done. Part of the, um, the uh, video here that I'm doing is for an understanding of what's happening with the ratio rocker. So if we take a look at the angle 110 camshaft, and that's the particular camshaft that I happen to be running in this engine right at the moment. So we have a uh, valve lift on an angle 110 camshaft that will give us, take a look here, the 110 series camshaft. So the valve lift that's on that particular camshaft is 392 thousandths of an inch. So if we take a look at with a stock rocker ratio, if it happened to be, and the factory ones are actually 1.1 to 1, but we'll look at that here in a moment. But if it was just a 392 thou lift with a 1 to 1 ratio rocker, there is no lift difference. We would still end up with 392 thou of lift. So if we happen to use a ratio rocker, in this case a stock application, the one that I showed you prior to the second set, it's a 1.1 to 1 ratio rocker. So we take 392 thou of lift times the 1.1, which it gives us 431 thou of lift. So that gives us a substantial more amount of lift just by changing the ratio of the rocker arm. Now the only thing that does not change in this is the duration. This only changes the lift. So the higher we go with the lift, the more torque we produce. And when we produce torque, then that gets us out of the hole a lot quicker. So for taking off quick, 
turning big tires, moving a big heavy vehicle, a higher ratio rocker arm assembly or rocker arm uh, works better for producing higher torque values. So if we take the ratio rockers, for example, the ones that I showed you here, these are the 1.25 to 1 ratio rocker arms. So I'm taking 1.25 to 1 ratio. So now we take the same camshaft lift of 392 thou. We multiply that times the 1.25 to 1 ratio of that rocker, which gives us 490 thou a lift. So it's giving us close to 100 thou more lift for a 0.25 to 1 ratio uh, difference between the OEM setup. So this is why a lot of people use this as bolt-on performance and this can be applied in any application for any engine, doesn't matter what type, whatever the ratio of the rocker, to establish what the overall lift would be, we take the new ratio of the rocker, we multiply it times the lift, which gives us our overall lift, or pardon me, our lift times the ratio of that rocker, which is gonna give us our overall lift in the engine.